Wagyon Land is a milestone. There are exactly two publishers on the Famicom that surpassed the number of Nintendo cartridge releases. Nintendo published 49 games for the system. Wagyon Land is Namco's 50th. The other publisher will reach that 50 game mark at the very end of 1991. Namco published a lot of Famicom games. And their 50th release is actually a bit of a big deal. Wagyon Land is one of the most beloved platforming games on the system. It spawned a series, and we're going to see two sequels on the Famicom, but the games never left Japan. And the reason for that becomes obvious when you play it. The boss battles require that the player know Japanese, and they are nearly untranslatable. The story of Wagyon doesn't begin with Wagyon Land, though. It begins in the arcade, but not with a video game. Wagyon was an electromechanical game. There was a small dinosaur in a cage, and players would pick up a megaphone and shout at it. How loud the player was determined the reaction from the dinosaur. I have a great deal of sympathy for the arcade operators who had a Wagyon machine. The arcade machine was popular, so Namco made Wagyon toys. The common feature of the gun and wind-up dinosaur was a strange voice that accompanied them. Now we move ahead a little bit, and Namco decides to release a game based on their toys. And that's where we get Wagyon Land from. The story for Wagyon Land the video game is that Wagyon's island has been taken over by the mad scientist Dr. Devil. So naturally, Wagyon has to go out and save everyone. There are 22 stages in Wagyon Land, but you only have to play through about half of them. A lot of the stages have an alternate exit that fork the path that you're on. The very first stage, you can go high or you can go low, and you get to two different stages. The game is a platformer where A jumps and B makes Wagyon shout. Wagyon can't defeat enemies by shouting, though. At least, not without a special power-up. Instead, Wagyon's voice stuns enemies, and you can use them as platforms afterwards. Collecting the Wagyon symbol makes his voice get a little bit bigger. Initially, it's tiny and can't penetrate enemies, but as you collect those symbols, the shout grows, and eventually it can hit multiple foes. As it gets larger, the length of time that enemies get stunned for also increases. They barely stop with the smallest, but at the largest it lasts quite a while. There's four different sizes of Wagyon shouts, and after collecting three icons to reach the largest, if you collect a fourth, Wagyon becomes invincible. Then you can run through enemies, knocking them out. When the invincibility wears off, Wagyon's back down to the basic shout. Something to keep an eye out for while you're running through a stage are these spots that you can shoot and then they swirl. Those will release something if you shoot them again, usually a 1-up. And naturally you can stun those 1-ups so you'll have an easier time collecting them. When you reach the end of a stage that has a boss, rather than starting a fight, you engage in a mini-game. There's two styles of mini-games. Memory, which you are almost definitely familiar with. The layout for the tiles in the memory games generally follow a pattern, and once you spot that, it's pretty easy to run the board. The other mini-game is Shiritori, and that's going to require some explanation. Shiritori is a Japanese word game where one player says a word, and then the next player has to say a word that begins with the same character that the previous word ended with. For example, fox in Japanese is kitsune, so the next player could say neko, or cat. It's a style of word game that you can't really play in English due to the nature of the language. English tends to end too many words with vowels. There is a trap in shiritori. There's one character in Japanese that can never be at the beginning of a word. The end sound by itself. So if a player chooses a word that ends in that sound, then they've lost the game. In the Shiritori boss battles, you've got a set of pictures to choose from rather than any word, and generally the computer will play fair with you, generally picking out tiles where there's another word out there on the grid for you. And the pictures here have a lot of synonyms. That isn't just a rocket, it's also a missile. The goal in this minigame is that you either have to make a long enough chain of words, or the boss has to be unable to make the next link in the chain. 
Unfortunately, in Wagyon Land, my limited Japanese is a real problem. I've got the immediate textbook vocabulary for most of the pictures, but not all of them come to mind quickly, and I'm completely lost on most of the second meanings. Fortunately for me, there's infinite continues, so I can power through. But it's still quite a vocabulary building exercise. Wagyon Land really reminds me of an updated version of Pac Land. It has the same clean, sharp-lined style, the same simple level layouts, the same one-touch-and-you're-dead rule, and unfortunately, the same problems with timing jumps. Not the regular platforming, that works fine, but if you have to use a springboard or a ramp to launch you, the timing is very finicky. I wish I had a good tip on how to time these, but I could never perform it consistently. And unfortunately, this is something that carries forward to latter Wagyon games. Wagyon Land is really well remembered in Japan. In fact, for the recent Namco Famicom collection for the Switch, Wagyon Land is the free game that's in the demo. And it is pretty good, even with that slight launching problem. The action isn't especially complex, but there's enough going on that once you're past the first few stages, You'll have to think about whether you really want to collect those power-ups, and how you can use enemies as stepping stones. Unfortunately, the barrier to play this one is a bit high if you don't speak Japanese. You can't even pause those boss battles to break out a dictionary. However, I said that the Shiritori was nearly untranslatable. Some brave souls have managed to make an unofficial Wagyan Land translation, and it includes the Shiritori battles. I don't think it works as well in English, but I still respect the effort that went into just making it playable. 